Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be able to share with you the answers in uh, question 16 of 2020 paper 1. And as you can see, the question, or rather, this question is coming from the topic called variation. Uh, it's a variation, so it's quite uh, an interesting topic that you need to understand. So just to read through what is uh, the question is saying, it is given that y varies inversely, okay, inversely as the square as the square of x, okay. So as a square of x, <clears throat> the table below, okay. The table below shows some values of x and corresponding values of y. So you can see from the table that we do have some uh, values, okay? So, but the question is uh, we have some missing values, okay? So we need to find this value and also the value of b, okay? Now, when you read out the question, when you read out the question, it says that um, find the value of k, the constant of variation, and then also value of a, then finally values, okay, values of b. So it, it has two marks, okay. So the most important thing to note is that uh, we have uh, x, x variable there and y variable. Now they are saying that x uh, y varies, so you have to first of all construct this proportional um, relationship. So you have to say, okay, you have to say y, y varies, okay y varies inversely, so inversely we always say 1 over that. Now remember that the x is squared, okay? So this is the concept that you need to understand. So now we can actually introduce a constant which is y equals K, then 1 over x squared, okay, meaning that this is the same as saying k over x squared, okay. So now, from that, we know that uh, when you go back to the table, um, before we go back to the table, we need to find this. So for you to find k, you have to look at the complete set of corresponding values. So we have 2 and 9. So in this case, uh, your x is going to be 2 and your y, your y is going to be 9. Okay. So from here, we're going to say y equals to um, k, let me just write it, okay, and from there now, we put, where there is the y, we put 9, equals to k, then where there is x, we put that one as 2, okay, so from there now, we cross multiply, okay, and then this k, the k is just going to be 9 multiplied by, then 2 squared, just 4. Okay, so we know, so we know that uh, 4 times, 4 times 9, 4 times 9, then this will just give us our k as, let's 6, okay. 
okay so the value of k is actually 36 okay so that is our answer on a okay and now our answer on b okay on b now they are saying the value of a so you have to go back to the table and go back to to the table where this a, a is this one and the corresponding uh, value of x is 6 and this a is representing y so there isn't much to change in the equation so you always have to use uh, this this formula there okay so now we are saying that y equals to k over x squared okay and now what we know is that um, we this a is representing y okay so where there is y we put uh, a okay so this will be a equals to uh, k we know that uh, it's 36 and x uh, from that point um, the x value is just simply 6 okay so you can check from the table that where there is a the corresponding x value is 6 so I'm going to put that 6 where there is a x so this is going to be this and it will be squared and our a is just going to be 36 over 36 okay and this is just going to be 1 okay so that's how you can find that okay now the second one okay is that uh, find the values of b so the way you're going to find the values of b is just simply by saying so i'm gonna actually this is c okay now to find the values of b when you look at b here okay when you look at b so b is representing x so we write our original equation uh, the proportion so y equals to uh, k over x squared okay so we know that your x in this case is going to be b and your y is going to be 4 so these values are coming from the table okay so y is 4 x is b so therefore this is now going to be uh, where there is y now okay where there is y you're going to say 4 equals to we know that uh, k k is that 6 divide by your x uh, squared okay or if you want uh, 4 okay equals to 36 over d squared then you just cross multiply so 1 times 36 is just 36 equals to 4 d squared so from there we divide both sides this this so this this goes 4 into 36 it's 9 equals to d squared so you apply this on both sides so now this square root and the square goes so the square root of uh, 3 the square root of 9 is just the uh, plus or minus 3 equals to b so now therefore your b equals to 3 or your 
b equals to minus 3. So those are the answers. So make sure that uh, you follow it uh, nicely and um, very attentively. So thank you so much for watching this and um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.